Hey hello everybody, my name is Gadema. Welcome back for another video of Mafia the Definitive Edition. Right now in our house. I'm loving it. Um, I really wanted to so go see what was on the first floor, right? Or on the top floor, but I can't. So I guess we're just gonna have to do our thing. We gotta get out of our apartment. Wait, this is an apartment? Uh, no, this is a house. This is not an apartment. What are you talking? Oh no, we gotta meet Polly at his apartment. Yeah, I was about to say, boys. So this apparently is our car. Not too bad of a car, actually. It's, it's a pretty nice looking car. They don't make it like these anymore, boys. I'm going to go ahead and skip the drive, obviously, like I always. But I quickly wanted to say uh, uh, to you guys that I, f I want to thank you guys for just your incredible support over the past few days. Uh, you guys have been uh, awesome. I love you guys. I was just want you all do you know that, you know. It's just how it is, really. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say but basically I, I love you guys and thank you a lot really keep it up go ahead buddy drive yeah, keep it up boys keep your support up I'll keep uploading as much as I can at least I, I know I haven't been um, uploading as much lately but um, I'm trying my best obviously it's not super easy for me because I do have to work uh, Earl so I do have some stuff that I gotta do, so sometimes I can't, like I just don't have time, plain and simple, to edit and render videos and stuff like that. And uh, one of the videos that I uploaded, which was the first one for KOTF, took me three hours, literally three hours after I finished my shift from work, I came back home, uh, night time, right? And I waited three hours for the video to render, and I said, I didn't have time anymore. I had to go to sleep, so I had to. That's why uh, the uh, the upload was late because I had to edit out on the day after. So at the same day, uh, the same day uh, that I uploaded it. So sometimes things like that are bound to happen, boys. It's it's what it is. I got. I, I should have skipped the uh, the drive by now, boys. It's what happens when I don't skip the drive. I go too fast, and there's cops after me. Anyways. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and skip the rest right here. I'm just mumbling around, fumbling around really, and I don't really have anything else to say, so I'll see you guys once we're at the apartment. All right, we have finally arrived. Took a long time, actually. Well, the minute I did a skip drive, right, it looked like a long ways ahead. Feel like Polly is... We are relieving, by the way. If we take a look at the map, Oh yeah, it's really far away. We're living literally in Oakwood or Oldbrook. I'm not sure which uh, one of these two. We're living in one of these two. And I think it's Oldbrook because it's the rich part. And he's living in the work quarter. So we're apart from each other in terms of world right here. It's kind of crazy. He still lives in an apartment. Reminds me a lot of... Uh, what was his name? Vito's, uh, I guess, best friend and something. I forgot his name. How did I forget his name? Anyways, reminds me a lot of him, boys. Just doesn't uh, really get to the luxury part of life. Is he alright? Polly. Polly's dead? What the fuck? Polly. Oh, God. Sam, it's me. It's Tom. Where's Paul? He's uh, he's dead. I'm looking at him, slumped over in a hallway, torn a fucking skull. Oh God, I was I was calling the warning. About what? Jesus Christ! I owe you fellas my life three times over. 
Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the bank job. I knew he would. to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. Anything, pal. If you want me to come to Polly's. No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. I see you soon. And uh, thanks, Sam. I gotta go Polly, I'm sorry, yeah. So Polly's dead. For some reason, I don't believe Sam, boys. So, uh, remember, this is the first time for me playing this game, so I don't know anything about the story. So this is all a surprise for me. I didn't know Polly was gonna die. Well, eventually everybody's gonna die, but... Fucking Polly dying? God damn it, man. Now, I don't know. For some reason, I just don't believe in Sam. I feel like he's working, he's playing us right now. He's definitely working... Uh, for Salire, uh, Salieri and my thinking is he's the enforcer he's the one who's gonna try to kill us and everything he's probably setting it up a trap for us right now that's my feeling at least I'm not trusting him as much boys all right one of us has got to be uh, the bad guy in this and it's not me it's not Tommy so who's gonna be the bit uh, the betrayer the traitor We'll see, boys, in a minute. I hope it's not Sam, but my guts tell me that it is. Or right, the CD gallery. I don't know, boys. I still don't know about this. I don't. I don't know if we should do uh, go about this, uh, Tommy. This seems like a really bad thing to do. I knew you would find out about the bank heist, uh, salary, uh, salary that is the Don. I knew you would find out. He would obviously be super mad. Yeah, I knew it was a setup. It was pretty obvious. Hey, Tom. Sam. What the hell's going on? You and Polly. You put me in a bad spot. I know, Sam. And I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. This is what you were looking for, Polly's. Here's your cut. It's more than you deserve. Sam. You killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. Well, you seem real tore up about it. I'm just in a good mood. But things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up. And I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. The whore, too. The whore. The girl you were sweet on. You're the one that let her live. I'm sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. Shame, too. Don Salieri really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal, but you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you would have lived a lot longer if you would have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy.
you think it's gonna be that easy to kill me? Think otherwise. Think otherwise, my guy. It's gonna take a lot more. I gotta get out of here. Get the get out the get the fuck out of here, boys. Trying to ambush me? Not today. I'm not dying today, that's for sure. Salary just betrayed me officially, boys. He'll pay for that. God damn it, man, I swear. It's just a bank heist, for Christ's sake. Alright, I'm sorry, Sam, but I'm gonna have to take you down now. It's you or me. You or me, buddy. Oh, shit, this guy came out of nowhere. What the hell? Where's this guy at? I saw you go uh, going, buddy. This looks like the Naboo place. The hell? Are we, like, this is literally, like, looks like the Naboo palace. You know, in Battlefront and everything. The hell? It's like the same map and everything. No, you don't. Okay, there's a guy right there. Apparently, you're not. Okay, I got you. Uh, let's pick up the, the, the Tommy gun really quick, boys. I don't even need uh, to heal myself up. I'm doing pretty good right now, at least. Oh, oh god, no! Son of a bitch. You wanna go? Punch to punch, huh? Go, 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 get him. Get him. That's a son of a bitch. He's dead. Oh shit, watch out. Now I'm definitely gonna need the uh, the Tommy gun. I'm gonna die. As soon as I said I didn't need the, the health and everything, I, I'm, I'm burning alive. Who threw a cocktail of Molotov? Alright, let's try, let's try that again. I just shot at Sammy, didn't die. Uh, convenient, the story's protecting you, buddy. Come on. I gotta get him, somehow. Alright, let's, uh, let's go ahead and move up. Gotta move up every time, boys. Now, this time around, we gotta be real careful, boys. Yeah, there's Tommy guns everywhere, boys. I don't know... How am I gonna do this? Do I have the other gun? I don't yet. Uh, I need to... I'm probably gonna need to heal myself. For now, I'm good, though. Oh, my God. Can you not? Son of a bitch, man. It's not like I have anything to protect myself. Uh, usually in the shootouts, you, you would think they would give us a lot more often during the shootouts, like grenades and such. But they're not giving it to us, really. They're really not. So you gotta basically just... It's literally a shootout more than anything else. There's no guns, no bombs, no anything. This is a really nice place, boys, but I gotta tell you... No! What the hell is wrong with you? Don't go punching people like that. Alright. Yeah, I, you would think, you know... That there would be a lot more to... A, a, a lot more explosives and stuff like that, but I guess not. Alright, so... This is a, a really nice place, by the way. I would hope, you know, that someday... You get to... No, you don't! No, you don't, Sam. You will hope to get someday uh, be able to get into this, right? During the free roam and everything, boys. This is the f difference right here. It's the free roam and everything. The free roam is gonna really help. I gotta wait for the cocktail of Molotov to uh, draw out right here. Okay. I think we're good. I'm gonna... No, you don't. Just gonna go straight in right here, boys. I know there's a collectible over there, but I don't care. I gotta move. This guy's right here. Kill them off. Kill him off, kill him off. There we go, he's dead. Uh, I don't have... I'm, I'm gonna have to switch guns because I don't have... Oh my god. No! Why do they always get the punches first though? I'm still gonna answer, uh, question that one out. Uh, you're out, buddy. Alright. Yeah, I gotta take... Do I have... No, I don't have any ammo for the rest of the stuff. No, you don't! No! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No! Jeez, where did they come from, boys? Every time. They just come running at me like a bunch of idiots. Alright, I gotta run away, run away. You're dead. Just like that. Okay, oh, who else? Who else wants some? You? There's more of you, bitches? I'm going straight after you, Sam. You can't run away. You betrayed me, brother. You shouldn't have done that. You're dying today. You can't stop me, man. Stop running away. Let's go. Oh, God. Go get him. Get him. Oh, my God. He keeps running away. I can't shoot at him because he's got the advantage and stuff. There's a lot of comics books in, in here. A lot of collectibles, boys. 
All right, so yeah, that's gonna be rough. All right, so Tommy, uh, we're almost get, uh, get we're getting close to to Sam. There he is. Son of a bitch, he almost killed me. How did how did I get him? I don't know, boys. I'm getting closer though. But the thing about drug money is it pays a lot of muscle. Put him down, boys. Ain't nobody putting me down today. What do you think you're doing? You're dying today. All of you. That's enough, man. Okay, there's a one more guy right here. Oh, okay, this guy's gonna come straight at me. What is an idiot? I got a Tommy gun on. Can't beat me. Let's go kill him off. All right, so yeah, he, he attempted to do the, the same thing as usual. Ain't gonna work, boys. Uh, where do we go uh, at? All right, he probably ran away that side. Yeah, you can see the blood. He's already, he's dying. He's not getting away with this. I'm sorry, Sam, but you're not getting away. Stop. How much bullet do, can he take? That's just getting ridiculous, boys. You can't run away. Die, 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 die. I got him. He almost got me first, though. That was pretty close. Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. He's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. Started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri, he sent out a crew. And his family. That little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like a baby girl. Or Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me? You? Polly, sympathize with the situation Tom and I want to help your family but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court you understand that right you'll have to sit in that box and stare down Salieri Ralphie Vinny maybe even Sarah's father I I don't know if you got the stones for it if I'm being honest I'll do what needs to be done but you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family too. Wife. Four boys. Twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the 
worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. But this case, it'll be one of the biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long. Not the way things are downtown. Everyone's gonna eat, right? Even dirty cats. Just being honest here. I think there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not gonna make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive ain't exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales, Gavin. Trying to make me think you got nothing on him. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Salieri will be your legacy. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. And that has to be enough. A long time ago. And another life. Someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles heel. His greatest weakness. Maybe he was right. Because everything I've done, both good and bad, I've done for my family. I've turned my back on people they thought were my friends. I've kept a lot of hard promises. Spend eight years totally alone <laughs> trying to find myself so I could come home. A better husband, a better father, a better man. Now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser. I see that family is our greatest weakness, but it's also our greatest strength. It gets us out of bed in the morning. It lets us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. Keeps us from falling over. When we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo. Yes. Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Jobs, even best pals, will come and go. But family, family is forever. Really great game. I enjoyed playing it, boys. And I hope you guys enjoyed uh, uh, watching me playing it. It's a fantastic game. I just love the Mafia games, and I just hope that one day they, we get to see the Mafia 4. Literally Mafia 4, but in these timelines, because these timelines are really great. They tried to do it in Vietnam for, well, time a bit uh, in Vietnam or something like that for the second, third one. 
didn't really work out for me that well. I think they gotta stick to the timeline, boys, a little bit. They, you know, uh, the 30s, the 40s, stuff like that. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave it for right now, boys. Uh, leave the series. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.